with you. I'll do it someday. Yeah. Okay, we are starting. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, 12 minutes on the time. We will mm -hmm. begin. Remember to just participate in the fate. Keep it a little bit. Okay, try not to die. But if you die, just Ooh. get rest. Not people that is here. That's all it is. <laughs> All those people wearing swimsuits just like <laughs> Of me does not approve of being naked uh, semi naked. <laughs> what? Mm, yeah, he just he just did the uh, Like a storm you go very far in or come all the way out. You're gonna die if you can't do it. Okay. We'll rest you, uh, we'll rest you. Uh no you're still running away from me, Rex, I'm kinda of trying to heal you. <laughs> I I got him, I got him. I can Okay. See him. I've got crystal. So, yeah, crystal. Fish has got iron shower, so move away from fish. <clears throat> fish kill everyone. Do not follow <laughs> what Shark is doing. Yeah, Shark is doing me. tank things. <laughs> Yay, he's like trying to debate people. Don't, yeah, don't follow me. Just, uh... <laughs> oh. so, so is Elash. Hello, Goofy Goofy. Just rest. Oh, she killed Goofy, never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Ophi is gonna uh, die soon, uh, so get ready to run off to a portal spot. Okay, once mm -hmm. Ophi is dead, the moment you can mount up, just mount up and go. Okay, good luck everyone. Run over to a nearby port uh, whatever portal you have chosen and simply camp on it. If you get there yeah. first, uh, assert dominance on the the portal spot by mounting up on the largest, brightest, shiniest mount you can find, and just you know assert dominance on it so that when people see that you're okay, like, it's more for like so that people can <laughs> see that someone there, so they won't come over and you know see uh, see if the portal's taken or not uh. So if you got the phoenix or the whales or the Severus or the elephant, it's good, or the shiny bull, I guess. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Or Chris Tesa. So, I put a little bit. Where's my CSR? Hmm. I think the um, Nameless was doing Thank some you. shouting about yeah. it. Yeah. I also want to advertise mm. a little bit. No, yeah. because there's always people asking, can I join? Can I join this practice run? Can I join? So, I don't want to deny them, but at the same time, uh, this run is full. Ooh, hey, Wayne. <laughs> okay, so hey. you should have run over to a available portal. Now, keep, try, keep trying. Okay, if you don't have a portal spot yet, just run around, keep trying to find a portal spot. Um, yeah, but likely, chances are likely that uh, most of the portal spots have been camped on already. <laughs> but just try your best. Uh, worst case later when the red portals appear, keep your map open and zoom zoom. Try and find the nearest red portal and click into it. Okay, if there's no one on it, you, you are free to just click on the red portals. Okay, actually, even it, to be fair, right, even if there's someone on the red portal, they shouldn't be hesitating to click in. If they are not clicking in, you have all rights to click in also. La. Okay, there are no regulations once the portals have appeared. Okay, although you <laughs> shouldn't uh, challenge someone for a red portal before it has appeared. Once it has appeared and they're still not taking it, then it's, it's free, free to take. Maybe they hesitate, they're not ready to go in or some other reason. Oh, black. <laughs> That's really oh, yeah. I mean, if, uh, if, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, man. It's like, it's like you don't take your red portal when it's there, right? Then why are you waiting for? <laughs> if it's lag, then I, I can't help you. Sure, it's okay. really bad timing. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, do note, uh, uh, just a gentle reminder. Do note that okay, the blue portals will appear first. These are blue portals. Do not click on them. Do note that don't tunnel onto the blue portal. Now, later when the... Okay, so three minutes from now, uh, red, all the blue portals will disappear and red portals will appear. 
but the red portals won't be in the exact same spot as the blue portal they will shift okay they will be somewhere in the vicinity they'll be somewhere in the vicinity of the blue portal so do not like tunnel onto the blue portal and then later when the the blue portals disappear you realize hey eh, there's no red portal it might be just behind you but you can't see it so just understand zoom out a bit okay zoom your camera out get ready to turn your camera around and keep the minimap open okay the minimap shows you where the where the portals are so if you look at your spot and you see a red uh, portal marking nearby you the portal is nearby you just need to turn your camera and, and look for it uh, really quickly okay don't has don't uh, take too long because someone might just run up and and steal your portal so be very careful okay portal sniping is an actual thing by the way people okay yeah. parts who are not aware that there's a run going on now or people who are desperate to join the ba run may come up to you and just click on your portal and to be fair i won't i can't really say much about it uh, because again this is an open instance and anyone's free to join the run we, uh, we will never deny yeah. entry to anyone so if you lose your portal because you weren't you weren't fast enough to click on it or someone came over and st stole it right uh it's it's tough <laughs> luck, uh, but um i can't really it's not illegal to do so okay, it's not illegal to do so it's a bit rude well, but uh, all we can say is just keep trying and yeah, you will yeah. eventually get into a run mm -hmm. um yeah so there's no point getting salty about this stuff because mm. we've all gone through it like everyone who has done ba has gone through this experience <laughs> <laughs> so you just kind of you know get like a bit blasé about the whole thing eventually because it's like yeah we know it happens yeah. um you know so I don't get more sleep yeah one more minute left about less than one minute get yeah, ready this is what we this call portal time... wars this time at least we didn't wait for like over an hour for of me so Okay. I know, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, much yeah. Better. It's so much better. <laughs> I don't have to wait hey, the... one hour. Wait, is it just me or the person that stepped left? What the hell? Yeah, really? Left. Yeah, the person that stepped left. I think not because nobody went in. Yeah, oh, I guess then, we... oh, then we are less one photo. still one like, spot. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it happens. Oh. Like, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay, lah. We are we like fifty five <laughs> men party at the at the very end, but that's fine. To be, that's fine. To be honest, I'm surprised. Uh, it was just one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, usually expect a couple more, but it's okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not too crowded today wait, compared Malona, to our previous weeks. Malona, you uh, don't have to say stuff like that on shout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try not to say. Five seconds. Yeah, five seconds. Get okay, ready. Somebody else stepped in. Yep. Okay, rates out. Yep. Nice. Go. go 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 for those who didn't have a portal try to find one asap okay there will be a few open portals left around try to run over to it as soon as you can there's a couple of them go, go, oh, go. someone just did streaming nameless is doing streaming if you want thank you watch. nameless okay we'll, we'll just give, give those who are running to portals a bit of time before i start ripping mm -hmm. come on mm -hmm. you can do it you yeah, guys have two Before more just down one healer go 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 and the tank uh, Crystal, how are you? And Rex. Ah, oh, Rex didn't make it. Ah, okay. oh, need Crystal. Okay, now for, uh, I, it seems that all the portals are taken. See, as you can tell, uh, instantly, within like a minute or less, everything's gone. Okay, but for those who didn't make it, okay, I'm so sorry once again, but uh, your run has prematurely ended. Uh. Now, having said this, there's two alternatives for you right now. Number one, you are free to stay in this VC and Nameless is helping us to stream. So thanks very much, Nameless. You can join us by watching the stream. If you really have nothing else to do, right, you can just join us, watch the stream. Um, okay, Kelly, I'm going to pass you leader, so you help me to do the... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so uh, Kelly, uh, sorry, Nameless is streaming, mm -hmm. so you can join us and watch the stream. Now, um, alternatively, right, there's a second or uh, option available which is to wait for the support fit now this one is not really recommended because it's a long shot uh. okay so what happens is midway through our run uh, there'll be eight more portals uh, blue portals that will appear and eight more eight minus the number of stat blue portals uh, same process that will uh, red portals will appear midway through the run but it's a random eight portals it's literally like re any random eight portals so it's a long shot it's like you can be sitting on one portal praying that it appears and the red portal appears just beside you. It's like a, a sign from the BA gods that you are supposed to join this run. Okay, BBD has this luck, by the way. She always gets red portals. I don't know why. Okay, but uh, other than that, right? Um, if you choose not to wait, okay, it's perfectly fine. 
I totally understand. You know, it is a Saturday morning. If you want, you can go back and sleep. <laughs> go and spend the rest of your Saturday you know, doing weekend things. Huh? Okay, you don't have to be stuck with us here. Okay, so it's up to you. If you choose to do so, you can wait for a support fit. If you don't want, you can also just uh, get off and then try your luck with other runs. Okay, park runs are being run uh, almost every day. You can try your luck with those. Just go uh, read up, watch our video guides, and then try your luck with future park runs. Con okay, no. Coco 4, we are down the tank and the healer. Um, okay, team 4, so have, no worries, no worries. There. Okay, doesn't matter. For team 4, right, you all just try to pick up uh, uh, a tank and a healer if possible. Okay, what we normally Not do is... seeing any. Uh, uh, so, Ilesh is saying that his party has four healers. So yeah, I've got three. Swap, uh, uh, swap, swap. Yeah. swap mm. some over. La. Swap some over. Is your party full at uh, eight people? Four is four people now. Oh, so it's four, right? So, okay, just to let you guys know, this, okay, what happens in the air is because there's 48, okay, now 47 now, 48 people, right? There will be six parties of eight. If you have a four-man party, there's another party with four people. We all will need to organize and... Uh, yeah, my, you, my party is at seven people right now. Yeah. Mm. So those um, eight and seven means, okay, you're, you're fine. But uh, no, I those who are not... I right. like to fill the party. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so party Are you in your show? We combine our parties? Yes. Party 3 and party 4, you all join. You all join up together. Perfect. Mm. 3 and 4, you all merge together. Okay, party 3 and party 4. So, Fish and. um, Who's this speaking? Sorry. Nair. I'm uh, sending you a message. It's Fish. The and other Benny. Benny right? It's Benny, the other Benny. Right? Benny. <laughs> I'll just call you Ben. I'll just call you Ben. Um, <laughs> you all just merge. Uh, you all merge the parties together. Try to uh just raise your. Okay, do, do like the yell thing uh, where you raise your hand. You do the yell thing where you raise your hand so that the party leader in the four-man party can pick up the other people. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, you all get that settled. Okay, now, for everybody else here, first thing that everyone does when you're inside here is to crack open your spirit of the remembered, the single spirit, and use it. This will place the spirit of the remembered buff on you and it will last for two hours. And then you make another... Okay, because... Um, sorry, and then you crack open another logos action to replace that one. The spirit buff will stay on you. Okay, so uh, understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah? There's a you should have a single spirit of the remembered buff that you form up. Okay, you create. Okay, using the Marshallis plate bearer uh, Aether Weaver combi, crack it open, use it, get the buff, and then make another logos logos action to Morning. replace it. Yeah. Okay. This allows you to get a free spirit buff at the very start. We always do this for the like It just gives ago. you a free buff, la, a free spirit buff. So everybody should have a spirit of the member on you. Okay, at all times. In BA, if you die, normal reses don't work. You need to, first line of defense is to rely on your spirit of the member to proc, to rest yourself. Okay, so this is what we all should do at the very start. Now, subsequently, once you've got the spirit buff, uh, if you're new, you should have read our readme. The recommended logos actions at the start will be more spirits of the remembers plus plate bearer. Okay, for new DPS and uh, healers, uh, plate bearer will be used at the first half of the run to help to keep you alive when you you know if you make mistakes, you know don't get heal healed, etc. etc. Okay, but subsequently from the second half of BA onwards, uh, uh, plate bearer doesn't really do very much anymore. So you must have a uh, okay for DPS must have a DPS wisdom on you to switch over for the second half of BA, but you won't be able to form more Logos actions later on. So, uh, form them up now, okay, over here in the uh, at the very start. Now, once you drop off this platform at the start, you can't get back up. So, make sure you don't accidentally fall off. Now, parties will usually place way marks uh, for which side we are going. Uh, okay, so what happens, you see this flurry of activity here in the yell chat. Uh, what happens is that the parties are actually shouting out. No, for example, my party, Kelly is saying for me, one, three, four is one tank, three healers, or DPS, my name, art. Okay, and Barrett should be main tank. Okay, so <laughs> uh this means that my party is going to the art side and I'm the main tank for this party. Okay, and then uh just nameless is doing Owen, two, two, three. Okay, two tanks, two healers, three and DPS. He is going to spell. Owen side. And we need to split the parties somewhat evenly into a three, three, split three parties on each side. Okay, because the first pair of bosses, we need to down them uh, at roughly about the same time. Uh. Okay, if, if one side is too overpowered, too strong, uh, then the other side is going to be 
uh, having difficulty to down their boss. Okay, and both bosses need to sort of die at the same time to clear them. Okay, so spend some time, form up your logos actions. Now do note that for this entire run, there's a timer below the Hydatos timer, conquer the Baldesian arsenal. This timer is our time limit on this run. Okay, it's now showing 16 minutes, 30 seconds. So we should be done with the prep huh? and explanations and everything in about two minutes or less, and then it just get started. Okay, because we have a time that a time constraint on this run, we need to fight against. Okay, so take some time, prepare your logos actions. Okay, I'll let the organizers do their thing. I need to form up my own logos uh, actions as well. And once we're ready, we will do ready checks. Okay, once your party is ready, you do a ready check or party leader do ready check. Parties assemble on the site that you're supposed to drop off on. Normally, a party member, okay, a veteran will place a waymark on the site you're supposed to fall off on. Just assemble with your party first, but do not fall off. Once the party is ready, then as a party level, the whole party will drop off to the correct side. Okay, this is to ensure that you don't fall off the wrong side. If you fall off the wrong side, you will have no healers on, uh, you'll be by yourself. So it will be really tough to stay alive. Nice. <laughs> My logos work on the first drive. So. Yeah, I did like three seventy percent for sacrifice and stuff. Seventy percent, and they all it failed. Are you in this discord as well, oh Teddy? Yeah, I wasted like three. Remembered. One hundred. I remember that one. That was uh, a nice chain. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, So, um, anything else I need to mention? Uh? Uh, okay, so for the organizers, okay, I'll, I'll, for this run, I'll focus less on mechanics and more on what happens in BA. So for organizers, right, usually there'll be one player, like in this case, Hafun is... Thanks, Hafun, helping us to organize oh, for this entire run. Okay, Hafun, both Hafun on. and DVD are, are, are our veteran organizers. Uh, they always join every almost every single practice run and help to do the organization. It's a lifesaver. Um, so okay. not, for the start, uh, the organization, we need to split parties evenly 3-3 and as well as uh, ensure that each side has one player with perception. Okay, usually BBD will check for perception, but at the start, if no perception, is technically okay, uh, okay. It's just a single check that needs to be disarmed and tanks can just uh, body percept. Uh, no, home gang, hello ground, uh, leaving dead. Just run over the trap, pop it, and then it's all good already. Okay, but ideally, we have a perception player, it would be nice. Okay, now, at this point of time, for everyone who's ready, okay, we will do ready checks and assemble on the side you're on. Okay, I'm on. Oh, thanks. Yes. I'm okay. on the, uh, no, I always forget. I always forget. I just put I, the A marker. Always, <laughs> some runs I'm at, some runs I'm away. Yeah, so, not always the same. Uh, Nameless is the Wayne Ming tank, yeah? Or yeah. this guy? I think Sorry. It's, hi, it's me. It's me. It's Sky. Yeah. Hi, Sky. Oh, hi. Nameless just Hello. helped me. Hi. I always say hi. Owen. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. thanks so no, Owen. You. Owen is Sky, right? That's, that's mm, a, yeah, no, Sky. Nameless is a healer. Yeah. Nameless is a healer. So he's not. Yeah. Uh, nameless is just calling out for me. No worries. No worries. Okay. We understand. Okay. <laughs> so uh, for all the parties who's ready, yeah, uh, we will. Okay, my party, yeah, uh, we all ready, right? So we we jump down. We jump down first. Okay. Um. But I will wait for another party to jump down, right? Then we will start pulling. Okay, for the initial phase, uh, trash is just make sure that the tank establishes enmity first. Fuck, I forget to rotate my back here, but never mind. Uh, it's okay, I've got refresh on. Uh, okay, and, and then uh, make sure the tank has established enmity. Then you start to uh, attack it. Uh. Okay, in BA, uh, if the trash at targets you, okay, you face pull or you accidentally pull an ad that the tank is not pulling yet uh, and no one pulls it off you right you will get one shotted by the auto attacks if you're lucky, two shotted okay, so don't don't pull enmity off the tank okay, healers especially with regens uh, don't regen the tank and then the tank don't pull the mob and the mob targets you and you die okay, it's, it's particularly nasty mm -hmm. okay, later on, once you get more used to it you do a couple more runs, you get geared you have magia it's not such a big issue anymore but by the time you are very very familiar with not face pulling uh, off the tank nah, so don't worry about it mm. it's really only relevant when you're new <laughs> yeah okay, no, stop right. tanks stop tanks if the main tank accidentally pulls something that they shouldn't you are there to help support the main tank okay, sometimes you know if let's say two different mobs uh, of 
uh, two different element mobs are pulled at the same time. The main tank cannot survive both, if especially if they are very very nasty types, uh, like the frog, uh, the the uh, bibliotava, those kind that that does like nasty tank busters. Uh. If they are not on defensive of the correct element and they eat the tank buster, the tank will also one get one shot. Was no no defensive. So sub tanks are supposed to help to um, hold enmity for any extra mobs that the main tank pulls. Uh, things like if he pulls four mobs at once, okay, you can help to alleviate some of the pressure by holding one or two of them. Okay, and if different element mobs are pulled, you help to hold the other element. Now, at the top of the staircase, there will be these two Biblosses, which are particularly nasty in the sense that they have a frontal and rear near instantaneous conal attack. You will want to be careful of those. Do not stand in front or behind of the mobs. Okay, watch out for these other yeah, There's another one facing cool. us. <laughs> yeah. It's going to become very tasty soon. Yeah, but I, I, I trust we have uh, other things here. Like, so not take mm, that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Staying on its side is a lot easier. Don't stay in the front or the back. It's like the frontal is pissed me for like 40% of my health like, and I'm on defensive and I'm a tank so you can just imagine what happens if you're not. There'll be a cliff soon, huh? be careful. Yeah. Uh, he always cliffs after the hammer. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. <laughs> uh, yes. We're not separating VCs because practice run, right? Yeah. So no, no, no need to. Okay, no need cool. To. I will just do the very Owen big call out, big uh. call out for Owen. Yeah. Uh, anyway, generally speaking, for this uh, this one, that. right? Yeah, I don't really need uh, call okay. outs, lah. Yeah. I mean, I Owen only, la, Right? I Owen only, right? Uh, <laughs> so, just, just one thing I will mention for Owen's side. So, the first bit, you know, if you've been in here before, you know about the opposite elements to between Owen and Spears and things like that. So, handle that. If we get to Spirit Call, if you see red triangle markers, please stack together. If you separate, you will die. That's and then for just a, a little outside, small uh, red rectangle above your head. Yeah, it's like a little triangle Dorito over your mm -hmm. head. You know, mm -hmm. can't miss it. Mm -hmm. Please stack with other people when you get that. Yes. Okay, and uh, for art side, uh, arts, art is technically the harder of the two. You need to move in and out. Uh, so the he does a point blank. And then he put the spears, and then the spears do a point blank also. So you need to run out from the point blank and then run in. Or he does a donut, you need to run in. And then the spears do a donut also. And immediately after the, the donut goes off, you need to run out to the spears and stay in the donut. If you are slow, you get clipped. If you get, you get clipped three times, you immediately die. If you get clipped uh, by two of them at the same time, you also immediately die because you won't survive it. Um, okay, now for art, uh, the other thing to mention is when the floor glows, uh, you need to stop moving first. Okay, stop moving. If you get mo If you move, you get slowed. And then, once the floor stops growing and you see the line AOEs, uh, start moving out of the AOEs. They okay, start moving out of the AOEs. Okay, I, see, I say stop moving, people stop moving. Then the line AOEs come out, they stop moving, they stand in the line AOE, then they just die. So please move out of the AOEs as well. Okay. Now, if uh, that's all for the explanation. Uh, I'm not going to explain too much. Just listen to call-outs. Uh, okay, but generally speaking, there won't be too many. We are going to start at ET1015. ET1015 for Art and Owen. Zero one five, uh, win. Okay. Now, if he has limit break, uh, you can use level two limit break at one zero one three range and caster LB only, and level one limit break at one zero one four. Okay, someone in the party just arrange to fire it off, lah. If you don't fire it, no, uh, someone, someone, someone else early. early. Someone someone early. Yeah, 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 I got it. Got it. Nice. I got it. You just be careful early pulls like that, lah. It gets a bit messy if no one pulls. Okay, now just listen to call outs, we'll be fine. Tank Busters. Okay, actually, I will stop. Uh, sorry, I will not call out the Tank Buster Red White. Yeah. Okay, the obvious things just, just move, huh? The obvious things just move, guys. Wayne Ice. Ah, side, pay attention to the spears. 
get ready to run in after. Run in no. now. Faster, faster. <laughs> The next set will be Donut, huh? so stay in first. Um, outside, everyone rotate to defensive. DPS is not important anymore. Rotate to defensive. He will help you to survive. Just right click on the name. Go oh, into fire. In fire. Outside, run out. Run out now. Nice. Ooh. Oh, wait. Owen, get ready for the triangles. If you get the triangle Dorito stack in the moving. center. Stop moving. Okay, those who are slow, just try to get out of the line, Yoris. Move out of the line, Yoris, now. Move out, move out. Hana, move. Oh, we'll be fine. You'll die. Yep. Nice. Just dead. Oh, nice. that's it, right? They prepped. That's fine. Okay. You die, right? Uh, you crack a new spirit. Uh. Crack open a new spirit. Remember. Nice, nice. Okay, then remember to use back your um, plate barrel. Um, halfway up the stairs, there will be a trap. So don't run too far ahead if you are not sure where the trap is that the position goes. both sides yes goes mm. both sides whoever has perception on our side can you please go reveal the trap uh, as Thank you reach you. the top of the hallway please hug the wall do not be very careful not to pull any yep. of these mobs Thank you Ducky. Okay, the large shiny glowy thingy is a explosive trap. Step on it, kaboom, you die. Now up here in the hallway, like uh what you heard the other uh, the other side say, uh, hug the walls, hug the walls, there will be traps around this uh, hallway as well. Uh and a com you can stop percepting because there's only one more trap left, which is probably where that centaur plus mages yep. are. There are only four traps here. The four in traps are in a square, square shape. Ah, exactly. Yeah. It's in a square I, I know you're doing it for the first time, so this is just some pointers. Um, there's one big trap mid up the stairs after Owen and Art, and then there's four in this room in a square sort of formation. If anyone doesn't know, yeah, I'm right where I'm building. getting. Okay. So get your chest. I'll put it closer to us, lah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be some mobs up and down. Yeah, the centaur is looking right at. This. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not following me. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Oh, it's okay. Like, these ones uh, are a bit, yeah, because they're casters. So. Yeah. I want to tackle the doll next. Huh? Okay, so um, yeah, Sky mm. will be the main tank for this run, so I'm going to mark him with a marker. All parties, right? Um, Parties, signs and waymarks are party specific, so you may mm -hmm. wish to mark the main tank as well. So with this particular mob, you want to make sure I mean it's dead because of death L, but um, <laughs> you know, in a pug run, um, if let's say there's no death L, killing it instantly, you want to make sure that you never stand in front of it, um, because it will cast a ter terrifying glance that will confuse people, and then it's a very wide cone, and a lot of people get hit by it, so <laughs> yeah. so you start it's tapping your own team members. You get confused. <laughs> then for yeah. the centaur, right? Uh, just to mention this, uh, okay, some of the mobs are unique, uh, so we are mentioning them. So the Centaurs uh, will cast a skill called Berserk, which if it goes off, it gives the Centaur a massive DPS up buff, and then the tank cannot tank it anymore. But it cannot be interrupted with stun or silence, so a healer or black mage must sleep the Centaur when it's being cast. Okay, but not before, uh, do not pre-cast sleep early, because then it gains immunity to sleep. Yep, had that happened before. <laughs> That was scary. If happens right then the tank must use tank in rounds to survive. And then um, the bot dies. The sprite the is dies. coming down so be careful. Mm. Worry is, I uh, the mages is on a red mage. <laughs> Hello? Sorry. Ooh, are they okay? okay? Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are helpful to so running. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Sky, take the, the sprite. Take sprite. Put the sprite. Get the sprite. Get the sprite. Get the sprite. Use your... Uh, uh, what's this called? Holy oh, I can get Holy it. Spirit. I wouldn't get it. Okay. <laughs> I'll just do an area on it. So just a reminder for the melee DPSs, do not follow the tank. Let the tank pull the mob to the main group. Uh, this is a little bit too close to the trap for me. Just, just, yeah, don't step in uh, that. That's uh, not a good time. 
these, these small smaller traps are, are not as deadly as the big explosive one but uh, you still wouldn't want to step in them they apply a 10 minute no a uh, one minute bleed which can be as huge true so and a 10 minute so damage down debuff which cannot be removed so it's still quite nasty uh, so don't step on them if you can um malona so that's fine um so what happened there was because you know sky pulled through so he's got more aggro on one of them so if you uh out dps him on the second one for example he hasn't actually established aggro you're gonna grip like you're gonna grab it so one tip that you can do is um maybe mark sky for your party you can target okay. him target the one he is targeting and then dps that one instead of the extra yeah that's just uh, it's just normal tank things uh. it's how we always do it in normal dungeons anyway Okay, now for Raiden, uh, Raiden is a thunder expected boss, so rotate your mega accordingly. Now for this boss, uh, um, there's only two things that I want to point out. Uh. Okay, the rest of the mechanics I will just call out as per normal, you just need to listen to call outs. But there's two mechanics that you need to pay attention to. The first is the lateral slash. Now midway through the fight, Raiden will disappear from the arena. He will reappear in either the east or the west side of the arena. And he will raise his sword on either his left or the right. Now, at this point of time, we will all be stacked in the middle. Puddles will appear below all of us. Okay, because we're all stacked, uh, we just need to move out of the puddles. Okay, there'll be a large amount of puddles. Please move out of the puddles first. If you get hit by the puddles, you'll just die there. Okay, because it's so, like six or ten puddles stacked together. So move out of the puddles. Um, move, and then once you're out of the puddles, move towards the side that Raiden's sword is not pointed at. Okay, you will see that everyone is running towards one of the sides, either the north or the south side. Just, you know, move out of the puddles first and go towards that side. If you can, you can even go towards that side from the get-go. Okay, but if you realize you're running the wrong direction, stop, turn around and run back towards where everyone else is. If you are a healer, you see your party member running off to Narnia, just rescue them back. Okay, rescue them back. Raiden, shortly after Raiden will... Cleave across the arena, killing anyone on the wrong side. Okay, and anyone in the center as well. Okay, that is the lateral slash mechanic. Now, the other mechanic is called Cloud to Ground. Cloud to Ground will place a single Exo Flare at the edge of the arena. The main tank and all of us will wait for the... Okay, Exo Flare is a traveling AoE marker. Okay, it will start to travel across the arena. We will stack on where the first Exo Flare spawned. Okay, and... Um... He will cast Bitter Bubs. Okay, Raiden will cast Bitter Bubs. Now, once Bitter Bubs goes off, a lot of things will be happening. Okay, Exo Flash will be traveling across the, the arena. Random players will be targeted with AoE puddles. And a few selected players, randomly selected players, will be tethered to each other. You need to run, okay, sprint, pop sprint, run around, avoid the Exo Flash, avoid the puddles. And if you have a tether, split the tether from your partner. If the tether stays attached for too long, it starts to apply a heavy dot on both tethered players and you will both die after a short while so split the tether first okay tether is priority then avoid everything else okay um shortly after uh we will move towards raiden and into his hitbox raiden follows up this mishmash of mechanics with whirling zentetsuken where the safe spot is inside his, his hitbox okay um sky will try to pull it to the center of the arena i will mention it sky pull it to the center and then uh, we will just all stack into the boss's hitbox okay so these are the only two mechanics that you need to be aware of lah, to avoid properly other than that the rest of mechanics there'll be red whites there'll be tank busters okay there's a light dps check there's a bruise etc etc i will call these up okay so um if no issues then we will get started at uh et1400 okay et1400 yeah, yes. Sky is... Uh, Sky is... Uh, maybe you can't hear me. Uh, Until... Uh, Owen. Mm. Owen, sorry, Ozma. Oh, Elash is actually in here this time. So is Tomato. Oh, yeah, so serious? I can't see him. this green afro jumping in the front. <laughs> no! Oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> is that an afro? <laughs> in, uh, an afro on a lava? He's an actual tomato. He's an actual <laughs> tomato. Oh my god. He still hasn't changed. That's funny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yay. He's like, kill tomato again. <laughs> Jumping yeah, he's tomato. Like, freaking tomato, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, get ready to start. Uh, level 2 limit break if you have it. Level 1 limit break. And go, 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 go. This guy will be pulling the boss slightly closer to the edge uh, for the first mechanic. Uh. Okay, there'll be a red, white, and a tank buster as the first two mechanics. Okay, this is the tank buster. <laughs> now he will electrify the edge of the arena with Thunder Call. And then the next mechanic is Ame no Sakahoko. Now this mechanic he will place a large point blank AoE. So we can start running backwards. Range DPS can start running backwards. He will place a large point blank AoE on where he is right now and he will jump backwards. Everyone needs to be away from the boss. And when he lands, he will do Whirling Zantetsuken, be inside his hitbox. He'll be inside his hitbox. You want to be inside. Now soon after, he will disappear and do the lateral slash. Get ready, we will stack in the middle. Okay, everyone stack in the center. Raiden is on the west side. Get ready to avoid puddles, move out of the puddles, and go towards the side his sword is not pointed on. Oh, that rescue. Ah! No. Uh, Someone died twice. Can't be helped, lah. Uh, that one no. always. Uh, if you die at that uh, point, you constantly die. Uh, yeah. His slash goes through invulnerability. Mm -hmm. Okay, spread out lightly. Spread out lightly. Spread out lightly. There'll be uh, AOE puddles that we try not to overlap. Okay, just spread out. Place them. Okay, and this is a light DPS check, a very light DPS check. Burn the spears. <laughs> yes, burn the spears. DPS the spears. Yes. The red white, and then there'll be a boost shortly after BBD TM. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, she calls this the bruise. I've now picked it up as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it does look like a bruise. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The colors are perfect. Okay, Cloud to Ground is next. Now, we'll look for the first Exa flag. It is due north. We are all heading north. Just, just follow everyone. It. And just... <laughs> Actually, that's true. Uh. Just, uh, just, just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Commit. Okay, but get ready to run. Just kill. Just kill. Just kill. Just kill. Just kill. Just kill. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Skipping cross is so good today. Okay. Uh, treasure coffers. Once again, just gentle reminder: they are personal treasure coffers. Please remember to treasure coffer. It is your own treasure coffer. You need to touch it yourself. Touch it. I just got the great mission. Wow. They so nice. So nice. They rest the person. So nice. Person. Oh, did someone actually die? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And Mizuki, Mizuki uh, raised them. But uh, Mizuki's not coming back up. That means. No. Okay. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay, for healers who want to rest, uh, please yell out that you're going to sacrifice them first. Because if not, then only one date, right? Then if let's say someone else cracks a sack for it, right? And then you go and sack, right? Then they are holding a sacrifice for no reason. And plus, the, there's a rare occurrence where two players can sack the same player and they both die. Mm, so mm. Just, just announce before you sacrifice. Uh. Okay, for everyone else, uh, not healer, uh, move away, move away. We continue. Okay, save time, we continue. We will carry on. And there's another hallway with trash ads uh, and a trap inside here as well. So what we normally do is we get the tank to peel the mobs away from the hallway carefully. Uh, the perception people just scan the entryway. Okay, we found the trap already. Very good. So there's only one trap, no other traps. Oh my god, sack chain happening here. No worries. Yes. Only yep. one death, so not so bad. Okay, Sky, you can go ahead and start peeling uh, the mobs. I'll be on standby just in case you. Uh, everyone way. else who is not a healer, you don't actually need to be there. Um, yeah, just the healers do their yeah. thing um, because Sky's pulling mobs already. So just. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Help DPS, thank you. Yes, guy on focus target. Okay. Uh, for AOEs, uh, please move out of them, la. Okay, as, as always. La. Okay, um, 
tanks and DPS, melee DPS will try to stun them if possible, but sometimes the stun don't, doesn't go off or you know, some other shit happens. Uh, you know, everyone stun them early and then you no know, cannot stun no longer work, etc. Et mm -hmm. Just avoid the OEs. Latency. Mm. Plus there's a situation where the mob dies but the AoE still fires off anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Satori. You just gave me a heart attack, so thank you. <laughs> I legit heard the aggro thing, but I just got bravery. After this hallway, there will be a single trap uh, up the stairs and a treasure coffer. Don't see the treasure coffer and, you know, oh, treasure, then run straight into the trap. Okay, there'll be a trap at the very top of the hallway. Uh, after that, we will be presented with another hallway with trash ads and six mobs. Uh, no, sorry, six rooms. We will be looking for two things in those rooms. Number uh, one. Uh, watch out for the door. Sorry, wait, wait, watch, watch out for, out for the, door. the door. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no worries. I, I actually have my eye on it, la. don't worry. Hey, don't no, no, no. Uh, um, other guys uh, were jumping. Don't worry, so guys. If they put one it, was I tomato. Will... One was Tomato who's total jabating, but someone uh, else was there too. I got it. It's okay, I, I normally, I normally am on like if I'm not main tank, I'm on standby uh, babysitting duty. So I'm always looking at other mobs running around. So it's, sometimes you see me, I'm not attacking, I'm not contributing. I actually preparing to pull other things. Oh, I, I thought you were just thinking about the trap, though. <laughs> I'm on on the trap, but I saw Elash do it, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, he's he's just trolling. No, he's he's just he's totally trolling. Sure. sure. <laughs> Nom stacks, in Nom stacks. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Wait. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah watch Wait. out for this yeah. the room with the trap. Or is he oh, he's sarcasm. Kelly is sarcasm. Yeah, we're, we're just ah. totally trolling. He's a dragoon. By the way, he's a dragoon. He's a boss Hank. Okay, I get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, he actually has in those stacks. Sorry, he's a Yeah, he uh, has. But it doesn't, the, 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 the bleed doesn't refresh it. Yeah, no, I understand. No. <laughs> yeah, no, we're like, just trolling. Yeah, yeah just griefer, around. griefer. Report that griefer. <laughs> um, what else is new, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like you've tried <laughs> life work. Anyway. Um, just one thing. If you're casting refresh, it's considered a cast. You can aggro mobs using it, so... Uh, that applies to perception too. If you cast yep. near a sprite, you will aggro the sprite. Yep. So be careful. Yes. Those are casts. They're considered magical attacks or magical things. So technically, this is not uh, BA specific. You should have learned this in. Uh, I know, right? Uh, it applies outside too. <laughs> you don't need to explain too much. Uh. You just learn it outside. Wait, okay, you'll no. be surprised. So many people don't. No, I understand. <laughs> yeah. They got power level too. Oh, so it's good yeah. to learn somewhere. Uh. Uh, Dix is holding a... Uh, oh, it's in wind. Chest is in wind. Uh, holding a spike. Okay, here right, there's six different rooms. And what we're looking for is a treasure coffer that we can see in one of the rooms. Okay, so uh, it's in wind, so we'll do wind room next. And a hidden teleporter that cannot be seen in one of the rooms. It's random, we do not know. Um, <laughs> Normally what we do is we will just ask Hafun for where the teleporter is. Okay, but this time around, okay, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, we, what we need to do is we need to to uh, systematically clear out the rooms so that we can get the perception oh. person to go in to scan the room to reveal the teleporter. So what we're going to do is clear the hallway first, clear the wind room to get our treasure copper, ask Hafun for where the... He uh, said already wind. Wind. That's what he said. He said wind is where the... Where the Treasure coffin. <laughs> oh, Half away with the easy way today. Uh, yeah. Very good. So he's doing. Yeah, so we can. Uh, I gotta step away for a minute. Uh, can you take over temporarily? Sorry. Uh, no problem. We go do wind room. Yes, just for the rooms. Thanks. No worries. Like, you can ask any of the season tanks to do it. Alright. Uh, oh, let's just start pulling. And a comp, so just want to be yeah. careful because they tend to turn around and they'll look you in the face and they're hello and then they come running yeah. over to you. Um, so this room, um, because it's wind, uh, there will only be one trap. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Careful. So glary. 
can't see. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't stand this one. I can't stand this. So for, the, for anyone that is thinking of doing perception, things like that, um, there are there is like a known number of traps for each room. So fire and stone do not have any traps. So if you go in, you will still need to scan just in case there is a teleport portal. Um, then wind and thunder, which is these two, they have one trap each. So the trap in wind has been found. Ice and water have two traps each. So it's like pretty much it's zero at the entrance, one in the middle, two at the rear. Mm -hmm. uh, do yep. note that it's for the first set of six rooms. Huh? Okay, later you all will see that there's a second set of six rooms, almost identical to the first. Those have one trap each. Uh, but we will remind, uh, generally people will remind. Uh, don't ju just don't be confused. Ah yeah, BBD said fire and earth got no trap. Run into the room uh, with the button right and step on the trap in the center. Aha, mm -hmm. blame. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, my, my statements only apply to this yeah, set only of rooms. Set of <laughs> the not first in. set of rooms. Uh, <laughs> no, how far were you losing your touch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do uh, ice and water next. La. We do ice and water next for the tanks. La. The tanks will need mm. uh, the traps. We the do traps. ice and water next. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's start with uh, ice. La. Start with ice. Ice here. Ice here. Uh, yes, Anacom, you can scan through walls, um, but as in, you can scan that there is one nearby, but it won't reveal the trap through walls. So you still yeah. have to go into the other room to scan it to actually show the trap, but you can actually just sense that, okay, there is one on the other side of this wall. Yeah, it's not like Something DRS, like that. Yeah. <laughs> where you can like do that through the wall. Yeah. yeah, that's not the same. <laughs> At least I've never managed to reveal a trap in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Before even yes. though I see, yeah, there is a trap close by. Yeah, I've actually hit um, a size like right next to the wall to see if it would aggro. It doesn't, so like, yeah. but it does it's if you're wall. standing in front of the door. <laughs> so it means <laughs> that these walls, whoa, 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 these walls key. are better <laughs> than DRS walls. <laughs> <laughs> They're more <laughs> solid. <laughs> oh, be careful! I, I, I have trust issues. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, uh, kind of uh, where we're going. Alrighty, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, Ducky, right? Just, just be careful of perception, right? You want what you want to do is you scan, right? And then you step forward two steps, then you scan again. Just now, you, what you do is you scan, then you just run like five, six steps forward. A bit dangerous. A uh. heart attack. You, you almost <laughs> just you know, just be careful about it, lah. I mean, just letting you know, lah. If you if, worst case, you die, lah, and then we rest you. <laughs> you should, you should have like heard everyone just went. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the you should see the casual player uh GIF. Yeah, you should go to our Discord and see the casual player GIF. Yeah. <laughs> uh Sky said he'll take the MT now. Okay, <laughs> can thank you. Yep. Thanks. Okay, good. Go la, go in front. Oh he's standing in the back. Go. Uh, so perception, uh, same same deal. This one only has one trap. Um so now that's been found, you're all good. Oh, you're they're done. all really near to each other. Just pull, just pull, just pull. I think they only tether to their own same kind. element. It's tethered yeah. to the same yeah. the element. Yeah. yeah. Only the same element. But you just pull, I will just help you. La. You want, you just start with the water. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ghost. Start with the ghost. Start with the ghost. Ah, the, ghost. Ah, the, ghost. Ah. the ghost is coming. Okay, never mind. Yeah, kill the ghost. Kill the ghost. Okay, I'll just Someone. pull him really far back. Oh, he's coming. 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 Sweet. So anyway, for the perception, right, when you use a perception, you will see a message like there is nothing nearby or there is something nearby. You can take mm. that as the indicator also for how far you can run. So if there's something nearby, just take smaller steps and percept mm. more. Sometimes I find I do that, right? And then the trap is at the far end of the room still. <laughs> yeah, it's not necessarily not super accurate. <laughs> Yeah, the amount of times like someone's percept and like I've been running in the direction like right next to the trap, you just sit there and like <laughs> It's a lie. <laughs> Not okay. kidding, like in times I scan from the door, right? And it says nothing. I take two steps in, it tells me, Oh you scan you you sense something nearby. And then I keep taking baby steps in, scanning, scanning, scanning. I'm like, where? <laughs> it's like half and then up it a turns wall. out it's like you were just parallel to it. Fountain, far in the middle. Yeah, yeah, go okay. ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Please <laughs> run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
run away! There's a yeah, puppet. Yeah, I still stand in front of it. I yeah, I wrecked into this. Yeah. Oh, the death. Nice. We're starting to recognize what mobs to death already. Very good, very good. Yes, it's Prostrat. Yeah, nice. Wing, is, Wing is here. Yeah, he's helping in FC me. <laughs> I'm actually running tea with Wing. <laughs> this is like all my gen showing up. Generation story. He's not in VC. There's six rooms here. Now, for this set of six rooms, we're going to clear the hallway first. Uh, so, as, as per normal, we'll scan, you know, um, sweep the hallway for trash mobs. Now, there are six rooms here. Fire, Ice, Water, Thunder, Wind, uh, Stone. What? I miss out. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll just water, link it. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's all six. Uh, okay. And then, um, what, we, what needs to happen is we're going to split up into six different parties with ideally one tank each. And... Um, in our separate party level, we will pick a room. So you can see people starting to shout out. Uh, <laughs> got it first. I literally <laughs> got it first. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see people okay. shouting, shouting out the party compositions plus the elements. Uh. So usually party leader or one player in your party will uh, pick a room. And what will happen is that we will split up. The tank will tank, turn on tank stance, put in defensive for that room element. And once all six players are stepping in the button in the center of the room, the doors will close, two mobs will spawn, and in your party level, you need to tank and spank. Like, you just dispatch the mobs. Now, be careful, being very careful, each room has okay. a single mm -hmm. trap in every room. Usually, uh, it's always overlapping the button in the center. Okay, Anacom, uh, it's, the trap is always overlapping the button in the center. So you scan to on your way towards the button. If it doesn't reveal itself, you can mm -hmm. scan, uh, just go in a straight line through the center and keep scanning la. you will definitely be reviewed in this manner okay so just go ahead and uh, perception people go ahead and scan all the rooms help to review yep. the traps for all rooms thank you all traps are found okay and then um in your party level just head over to your rooms uh. just head over to the rooms oh i think stone is being contested so yeah, we for... got to the top first, so we got it. No, it's ours. I, I got to the top first. It's not what you're doing. No, no, no. no, no, no. We all saw you fall on the way out. <laughs> oh, do you mean you got up to the top? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I mean yeah. calling. No, no, guys. I mean calling for. I mean room. both. Yeah. Yeah. Probably oh, want both anyway. No, mine, mine yes. is above yours. No, oh, so okay. for Nameless, for no. me and for Hakun, Nameless showed up first. <laughs> Yeah, like and for me as well. I always get stained there. <laughs> Blame your lag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tubby. Uh, okay, la, doesn't matter. Yeah. We will take Thunder. La. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so my party is Thunder. Uh huh. Hey, what are you doing? Elash has taken the trap in Thunder. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. We go Thunder lah, never mind lah, ayah, you know ah. Ah, it's just... I just put children in, ayah, yo. It's legit every time. It's okay lah, yo. Why are you like this? Mm. Why are they like this? Yeah lah, you know ah, like little kids. Yeah. Uh, okay, come. Um, okay, now what's happening is that in your own room level, we will just... Uh, okay, your party ah, the tanks ah, turn on your tank sensors and rotate your Magia to the element of your room okay, defensive for your room every all the dps will be offensive for that room uh and dps and healers usually stay in a corner you okay, go to a corner of the room because you don't want to face pull the mobs later okay so my party yours is always here right now uh, just come to the corner here okay, and uh for tanks uh, you all will just step in the button in the center as a at a designated time now usually we will just do ready checks at this point of time and then once uh, what we'll do is we'll shout out, you know, thunder ready, earth or stone ready, fire ready, water ready, ice ready. Once all six rooms are ready, as well as, okay, the organizer usually shout out to the people outside, you know, support desk, you know, uh, dispel L, do you have it? Something like along those lines to guarantee that someone's outside has got dispel because the support fate is going to spawn at this point of time. Now for the support fate, Dispel L is actually mandatory to, to clear it uh, because if not, the boss there will have a massive de uh, damage up buff 
so dispel is needed to remove it so we ensure that someone's got dispel they need to clear the support fate uh, for us to actually progress past uh absolute virtue uh. so we also ensure that they are ready as well can okay, once all parties are ready we will set a put a start time and we will get started okay so my party is ready Okay. Thanks. Okay, ice ready, fire ready, thunder ready, stone, wind ready, water waiting on water. Okay, water is ready. All parties ready. Is support fit ready? Okay, the spell else ready. Wait, is it no? Yes, support this. There is a dispeller, uh, CG, I think. Can, can. can. Oh, yeah. CG yeah, me. okay, I see, I see. Yeah, CG me. It can. Nice. So, we're all good. Yeah. So, let's begin at ET2115. Okay, ET2115. Okay, so for tanks, uh, um, if you're new to this, right, or, okay, I think all of us are quite experienced, uh, but for new tanks in the future, when stepping in the button right once you step on the button the doors close the two mobs spawn uh, you will want to not immediately pull anything because sometimes one of your party members might be face pulling you want to grab that mob first if you pull a mob and your party member pulls another mob then you have to thank both of them at the same time okay so 2115 step in the button okay step in the button not the trap Okay, and just be careful, tank and spank mobs. Okay, just to let you guys know, if you finish killing the mobs and your door opens and you run out, right? Once you reach the big door, you shout first. We never have that. Woo, I know, right? Me. Why, ah? Uh? Why, ah? Uh? <laughs> that scared me. No worries, I, I got it. Probably fast enough to, you know, stack in the thunder and wind rooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they're targeted on somebody else. Mm. Yeah, Aye, okay. you're... What happened? We're gonna oh. LS group go faster again. Yeah, they're all... Right, they're all... <laughs> <good, huh? laughs> oh, shit. They all hex, uh, they all hex. It's okay. We've got a uh, sportsmanship. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, you might we might not get it today, but you'll get it. Yeah. Eventually. No no one ever brings death in our party. <laughs> That's it lah. Uh, I bring death death L and uh You know why? Because you're doing practice training run. You should right. go for hug run. <laughs> no, oh yeah, no right. Link. I'm actually oh, gonna some more time. run. Yeah. Oh, we haven't had we those in like ages. We don't talk about the Midnight Mythical Run. Rule number one of the Midnight Mythical Run. We don't talk about the Midnight Mythical Run. <laughs> Ayo, uh -huh. you guys, second, 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 second unspoken rule, we just look at each other and nod. Yes, yes. And then we all just show up. <laughs> just show up. Oh my gosh, Tomato <laughs> cheated. <laughs> Tomato cheated. <laughs> no, but I knew that we will be first anyway, so... Wow. I, I, I just ah. the first, first. Yes, extra, <laughs> extra, 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 sus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a You see, he has gained a prophecy skill when he got married, so, um, yeah. I see. <laughs> I see. That's why I didn't uh -huh. see him for like uh, six months. Sacrifices have to be made, I see. I. Uh, when we get the AV, Ducky, you can switch to a DPS action. So, not soon. You, uh, you'll be after. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Here we have another okay we're actually at the original hallway with the trash ads now so but more ads have respawned so we're just gonna clean up the rooms now tanks uh, turn off your tank stunts if you're not main tanking because sometimes people forget so just turn off your tank stances and what's gonna happen is we are just gonna clear this hallway and we're actually back at the original set of six rooms okay we're actually retracing our steps so if you see treasure coffers and install a got extra treasure coffer why isn't sharp mentioning it? it it just means you forgot your treasure coffer earlier on you can yeah. still pick it up now Okay, and uh, we are going to be, okay, after we clear these trash ads, we're going to take a short, uh, maybe like 5 minutes break or so, because we need to wait for the support fit people to, to join us. Lah. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's, it's usually a bio break, 
uh, coffee, tea break, and then etc. etc. While we wait for support fit people to, to join us. Wait, do we legit need more healers? We've got three in ours. Didn't Elash have four? Should be enough. Elash huh? might have donated some we have because one. there was a party running zero. Oh, he's, he's, he's you all need to switch over. You're just, uh, you're just, yeah. Well, yeah. Holding Centaur, Centaur. All Watch right. out for Berserk. The question is, how many of them are actually healing versus green DPS? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally healing, okay? <laughs> Not you lah, the, the Elash party before. before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So after this mob, uh, um, okay now, generally right, we will just form a line, uh, okay, we form a line, right, then if there's people casting shell and protect, it makes it easier on them to cast, okay, although I do understand some of you need to AFK at this mob time, actually I also need to review my key. So we're gonna uh -huh. take a short break here, about 5 minutes, uh, okay, 5 minutes, okay, I need to be right back also, okay. Do we need to, like, uh, uh get the mobs in the water room for the tanks? Yeah, the tanks are doing water. Okay. As long as there's a healer with them, I really need to make more coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, tip for perception, guys. Uh, at this point in time, you like as we are seeing now, um, the tanks, you know, are asking for, uh, like you'll see water or ice, things like that, because they're trying to build indomitable stacks. Um, so keep your perception until we're actually about to start AV, just in case. Because um, basically they have to refresh that every now and then. So if let's say support takes too long or whatever, we spend ages waiting. Um, they may need to pop traps right before we start AV. So yeah.
is so for those who are back already okay, just a gentle reminder usually at this point of time right for the new players uh, you all will be switching over to your dps uh wisdoms uh. Okay, from this point onwards um things like perception uh refresh okay, uh, the plate bearer is no longer necessary so usually you will switch over to the dps wisdom okay but i'll address this once everyone is back uh. Um, for wasn't there a, uh, was there a party with just like one healer earlier on are they here yes that's party four still ruby is handling that so only one healer in your party correct uh y'all can actually try to arrange to switch healers now swap healers over because it will definitely make your life easier if you have more than one healer okay, especially for Osma later on uh, when the red wise come in you want to have multiple healers to help to top up everyone I think fish might be AFK I'm mm, quite sure okay, no worries we will arrange it la. I mean the healers aren't going anywhere la, so uh, so we will be just switching them around in a short while okay now for those who wish to have a uh, shell and protect uh, is someone casting it? is it Mina? no Oh, CG is casting Shen Protect. So if you need Shen Protect, just go to the rear and grab it from a uh, CG. Okay, there are small little Poboto Astrologian at the at the back. So if you need it, just go over there, maybe like poke them, wave to them a little bit. They will see that you have uh, don't have Shen Protect and they'll toss it on you. You give them a bow, say thank you. And then once you have it, move away from them so that they know that you no longer need it. It make their life easier. Okay, later we'll also do this for Osma. Uh, but we usually form a line there, so it's much easier for the person casting Shen Protect there. Okay, is the support party in? I think it's Davai from the one healer party. Maybe. I don't think there were any zero healer parties, right? Because they disbanded and reformed. Yeah, yeah, there shouldn't be. La. Plus, we have so many, it cannot be zero healer. One, but uh, maybe one healer, I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, we'll arrange this now. We'll arrange this. Uh, okay, so Fish is back now. Okay, fish is back now. So, um, Fish party right, has one healer. We need. We see if we can give them one healer. La. Move one. Uh, it's okay, Satoru, uh, because there's another party with four healers. So we move one healer from the four healer party over. <laughs> so it's easier lah. If not, that, that party has like too many healers or so. So Elash party, you all see if you can transfer. Oh, yeah, Satoru left. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, Fish, you just pick up Satoru lah. Thank you. Okay, then my party need to pick up one DPS. Uh, or our tank will do also. Hey, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we all formed up already. Okay, now. Um, it's about time already. Okay, it's been five minutes uh, and a little bit. So, we don't, I'm going to just begin a short little brief uh, on. Uh, absolute virtue. Okay, all of us are formed up. We are getting ready to begin for our next uh, second half of BA. Explanation time. Okay, now, um, we'll come to the second half of BA. Okay, everyone should be back by now. Um, what's going to happen is that from this point onwards, we are going to be facing AV, Absolute Virtue, which is a win expected boss. Okay, you might want to rotate your Mega Bot to the correct element first. Okay, he's win expected. And after AV, right? There will be two trash mobs and then after Osma. So there's only three more encounters left. From this point onwards, all DPS who are still using plate bearers should switch out to a DPS wisdom. Okay, the reason for this is very simple. For the third boss and last boss, okay, AV and Osma, there will be enraged timers. So we need to beat the DPS check. 
also failing mechanics in these two fights ah uh, more or less just kills you instantaneously it just kills you outright so even if you have plate bearer you will still just die so there's no real point holding on to plate bearer me as well push dps so at this point of time we usually encourage all dps players to switch to a dps wisdom to help to push the dps so that we kill the bosses faster okay now uh av i'm not gonna uh, explain all the mechanics but generally speaking there's only one mechanic that needs to be uh you need to pay attention okay and this is the turbulent eater now turbulent eater is a mechanic where he will cast it and random players i think eight random players huh, will be tethered with a orb and a ball okay this orb and ball will be either a light or dark color and when it goes out you need to identify if you have it okay it's eight random players so you need to stop and pay attention to see if you have it okay you can move around try to identify if you have the orb and tether if you have it you need to drag yourself into a puddle of the opposite color okay if it's a dark colored op and tether you need to stand in a light colored puddle the puddle will throw up a barrier around you and then you wait for the op to contact you okay to touch you and it will just explode but because you're in the barrier in the puddle the barrier will protect you okay so this is how to resolve the mechanic now a few things to note here number one uh av uh, will follow up turbulent eater with a conal frontal aoe called medusa javelin because this javelin is huge if you start running off to your puddle immediately and he points the corner at you you will not or you will it'll be quite difficult for you to move out of the javelin and move back in okay it's doable with sprint and some movement actions but it's tough lah. so normally what we do is we try to wait for the telegraph to come out first we try to bait it into a specific direction so that we can then safely run to the puddles so normally for the callouts i'll say turbulent ether incoming get ready to check your tether okay check your tether wait and once i see the telegraph go out i'll say go okay the moment you see the telegraph go out you just run out of the, the telegraph okay avoid the aoe as usual and then go to the puddle of the appropriate color now puddles cannot be shared okay puddles cannot be shared so if you see someone in a puddle don't go step in it with them one of the two of you will die okay the other thing to mention here is that if you see players who have the header and the op and are not moving around okay they are standing in the center right you will want to move away from them if they don't do the mechanic the op contacts them the op will explode you will heavily severely damage or outright kill them and anyone around that player so you want to pay attention to other people whether they are doing the mechanic or not ideally everyone does the mechanic and we all stay stuck in the center and then we don't have to worry about anything but you know park runs and bas this is just how ba is it is the general nature of how B is. A single player failing to do mechanics can uh, essentially kill a lot of other players. Now. So try to focus on the mechanics first. Okay, if you fail to do it, um, not much we can do about it. Okay, we will try to move away from you, try to mitigate, etc. etc. But ideally, try to handle the mechanics yourself. Uh, okay, now the other thing to mention here is that for this uh, boss, uh, okay, Sky is at the front here. Okay, I'm going to point him out. Okay, where's Sky? Point you out. He is going to be the main tank. If possible, mark him with a sign, okay, a way mark or an icon on his head because he's the main tank. Tank busters in this fight is an AOE. Whenever there's a tank buster incoming, I'll say tank buster incoming, avoid the main tank. Tank buster incoming. Just move away from the main tank. Okay, AV will toss a, a AOE on, onto him. He will survive it, but anyone else standing next to him will die. So move away from the main tank. Whenever possible, Sky, try to move yourself away from other people as well. Okay, don't worry about pulling AV away because AV doesn't move when he's channeling the tank buster. You can just move away, take the tank buster, uh, come back close to AV and everything will be fine. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this fight. Lah. Okay, there's a few other things to note. Lah. There's, there'll be ads later on. For ads, lah, um, do note that the ads must be burned down as soon as possible. But they are of a different element. They are of a thunder element. So you need to rotate the Magia towards Earth to burn the ads, and then later rotate back towards Ice to continue to burn AV. Remember to rotate the Magia. If not, you're doing pitiful amounts of damage towards the ads. Ads must die. Death L works on ads as well. Okay, those who have been using Death L to cheese the Earth room just now, uh, okay, please use your Death L for the ads also. Okay, help us clear it instantaneously. Um, you finish putting it on Skylark. That's, that's not a tank, that's an astrologer. <laughs> wrong player, wrong player. Yeah. Yes. Wrong player, just sky leave writers, it where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong sky. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you all, I hope you all put, 
uh, finding uh, seeing the correct player. Is the one in the red color? Um, He's a boy. Color, color. <laughs> Not a yeah, girl. Cat. He cat boy <laughs> that is jumping, but yeah. now a lot of people are jumping. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Stop messing around with Sky, guys. Yeah. Okay, focus up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get started sooner. Okay, now um, food works here. So remember to pop food if you okay, by now the food all should have worn out. So remember to refresh the food. Uh, remember to have you can potions on your hot bar. Okay, if you can, uh, you can just like chug it. Uh. Okay, just chug it like you chug that uh. Smoke okay, chicken. Yeah, smoke chicken. No, not smoke chicken. I use uh, express <laughs> container. Okay, chug it like you chug your beer. Okay, you chug beer. Glug glug glug. You know. Uh, yeah. And then, um, just try to stay alive, lah. Just listen, call out, try to stay alive. Right? If you die, remember to pop a new spirit of the remembered when you get up. Okay, now, um, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, that's pretty much all I'll explain for this fight. So we're gonna just do quick ready checks, make sure everyone's back. Okay, um, and then we, okay, we will yell out, lah. Okay, so let's say my party one, two, five. Uh, I'm not taking wyverns, right? Okay, yes. So, uh, ready. Hmm. Uh, you reckon potions are very handy here. And yes. at Osma, so mm -hmm. just put them on your hot bar, key bind them, use them, or go down. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, be liberal with them. You're gonna get like so many, so don't worry yeah, about exactly. Them. Seriously, <laughs> just just chug them. As Shark said, <laughs> chug <laughs> them down. Yeah. Like you can literally buy them from the NPC, uh, So there's no reason not to just spam them. Yeah, it's also yeah. you open lock boxes where right? you get so many lock boxes. Yeah. You open them, like thirty percent of them are your potions, or something. I, it's I like I keep them. like 2,000 in Nemo boxes, but I'm really scared about opening them. I, I know, right? Like, I, I, I sure. <laughs> the treasure, the, those coffers, those lock boxes really. I have like a few, a few thousands, like, ah, yeah, next time then open, uh, I don't want uh, too lazy. And then next thing you know, four stacks. I know, then it's not like the overflow. Yeah, it's not the overflow. Okay, um, we'll get, looks like all parties are ready, all good to go. So we're going to start at ET, uh, 0, 4, 4, Five lah. Okay, zero four four five. Okay, so ET zero four four five. Remember, for level two limit break, uh, you can use a range of caster LB at zero four four three, and level one limit break at zero four four four. Okay, as just nameless has your dog. Okay, range or caster LB only. Okay, arrange your party who will fire off. If no one uses it, it will just drain away when we start the fight. Okay, so ready up. Um, calm yourselves. Just listen to callouts. We will generally be fine. Okay, if you die, remember to create a new spirit if you get up. If not, then you just floor tank for the rest of the way. We'll pick you up later. Bravery. I lost, uh, we lost uh, Bravery. Satoru is not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, really, because it's single, but it's okay, that's okay, never mind. What happened? Okay, level 2, let me wait. Level so 1. Went away. He, was, he was a bravery guy. <laughs> oh. Wait, uh, not Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It's really fun. I, I don't focus on DPS. <laughs> Red, white. Okay, level 2, let me wait. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, first mechanic is just white puddles, just move away from the white puddles, they will expand and explode. Okay, it's actually safe to run on the puddles before they explode, but once they expand, or after a short amount of time, all of them will explode. Okay, move out of the javelin. Now for this fight, try to stay close to AV, uh, because um, if you are far away like this, right, you generally tend to get clipped by that javelin thing. Okay, now, go to dark, go to dark, he will split. Go to dark. See those on the far side come over quickly. Okay, if rest just pop a new spirit. Tank Buster. Move away from main tank. Next will be two colored puddles. There'll be two different colors of puddles. Pay attention. We are moving away from dark color, away from dark towards the light color puddles. So this the rear here is quite safe. Why is Wopper standing in? Wopper, the don't stand in the puddle. Yeah, don't stand in the puddle. Jabating people as usual. Oh, uh, I don't know whether Wopper came in support, so I don't know whether he's on. 
understand. Yeah, I know, but it's okay. Lah. I don't you see you're not doing really obviously that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, red, white. Mm. It is quite good. Eh? Okay, tablet, yeah. tether, get ready, get ready. Pay attention to that tethers. If you have tether, check for tether. Wait for the javelin. Wait for the javelin. And go. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone's gonna. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I, I, just hit, yeah, just hit. I managed to shield him up. Nice, nice. Run, run, run. Buster, yep, yeah, okay. Move back, come back once you're done to get heals. More red whites. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, shit. Never mind. It's because he got clipped from something. Oh my god. Okay, potions. No. Potion, rotate to defensive if you can. There'll be three impact streams, one after another. Get ready. Light, go to light. This is dark, stay on dark. And the last one will be light. Now straight after this, okay, stay on light, stay on light. Straight after this, run away from the proximity and sprint back in after the boss lands. Okay, you can start popping sprint. And then run back in. He does a corner straight after. Avoid the corner. Can finally orientate away from the main tank. He orientate away from Sky. He follows up with a tank buster. This is the tank buster. More red lights. Probably two sets of meteors and then another set of uh, ads. Okay, these are the ads. Get ready to burn the ads. You will need to do the first set of ads. Okay, focus on ads. Rotate your mega board if needed. There will be turbulent ether and javelin. Check for tether. Check for tether. Okay, wait for javelin and go. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, you take one. Tank Buster. Mm -hmm, move away from main tank. I've been getting tethers. Yeah, you just in one now, right? Yeah. For the second one. Uh. Okay, red mm -hmm. white. Mm -hmm. Do you still get flares in DRS? No. <laughs> no. This must be why you're getting tethers. Commit, commit, just commit. Stand by mid. Okay. Uh, if you're not a healer, don't gather around the middle. Um, there's dead people, it makes it e easier. Yeah, the we need to see. Who's dead. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Let's go. I'm gonna do our party one. Uh, so if you're gonna res, uh, try to call who you're resing as well, because the last thing we need is two healers trying to res the same person, and then both of you drop dead or something stupid like that. Hey, hey. Uh, I am here. Yeah, like, yeah. Hello. Hey. Uh, uh, for everyone time. else, uh, moving up to the next set of trash ads. Uh, these Yay. trash ads, uh, do not death them. Do not death the trash ads. These ads are actually for us to build gauges, sand gauge, uh, machinist heat gauge, red mage, black and white mana, okay, etc. etc. Okay, whatever stacks or gauges, is for us to build the gauges. So don't just, just hold your burst. Uh, you no need to burst this down. Having said that, these ads will cast a skill called properties of mm -hmm. on the properties of darkness that needs to be stunned okay, usually the main tanks or any tanks for that matter will just stun it and then it's all good okay the start the the move if it goes off right will dispel a buff from your buff bar it could be your spree of the remembered buff or so okay so normally a tank will stun it no worries okay we just wait for everyone to come back first uh, those who need to charge their gauges uh, okay, especially the white mages and Lilies and everything. Lilies! Master, where are you? I'm at the front. Okay. Come on, <laughs> then, uh, let's go. We're all here already. See, if you don't need, you don't need to build gauge and maybe like no need to, no need to like unload all your details lah. It's like just trash.
Okay, after this, uh, uh, there'll be like all those people who are new, you're gonna watch the cutscene, so we just wait for them to watch the cutscene first. And then, um, usually, the organizer or someone else will post the macro for this. Uh, now, I'll start to pre-brief. Uh. Okay, I'll start to pre-brief. Now, for Osma, right? Okay, welcome to Osma. This is the last hurdle in your path to glorious victory and shiny ball mount. Okay, I'll wait for everyone to watch the cutscene. Yep. Now, for um, Osma, Okay, uh, not again. I'm not gonna explain too much for Osma lah, but I will point out the few important things. Now, for a start lah, what happens during Osma is that we are gonna split into three. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, first thing first lah, those who need shell and protect go to the rear and form a line. Okay, usually the shell mm -hmm. protector player will be casting it at the back, and then we we line up. Okay, line up like no normal people do. And we line up like civilized people. Yeah, like you. civilized people. And then, you know, we want to start a BA meme here, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, like, yeah. Oh, so Name my feel. Well, look at it and press it. Yeah, I go stand at the side. I'm going to explain stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Okay, so if you all need the. If you want to get shell and protect, you get it. Bow, thank uh, whoever is casting it. Move away. And then uh, the next person goes forward. Okay, at the same time, Nameless will be popping the macro, so just wait for Nameless to post this massive wall of tags. Um, now, for this boss, uh, what happens is that there will be three sides, uh, east, south, and west side, and we are going to split into three different uh, sort of alliances or groups. A main tank and a sub tank party on each side, plus a uh, SST, uh, the support party, on usually on the south, although sometimes we will adjust if necessary, okay, usually on the south. Okay, but because BA things, uh, sometimes not enough tanks, the SST can be one of the, the parties as well. Uh. Okay, so, um, what happens here is that each side uh, needs to have one main tank to tank the boss, and then the sub-tank party usually is in charge of handling the bleak mechanic. Now, all of these will be arranged uh, in the chat. Uh, at this point of time. Now. So usually what happens is that we will yell out. Okay, for example, my party one, two, five. We are okay. uh we're not doing rest this time. Okay, so we are east. La. We east. keep this main tank. La. Okay, so let's say my party is east main tank. Then sky uh sky will be south main tank. Cause the Ah okay, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. So fish party, I think they merge with the team four lah, so that's not an issue. Uh, okay, it's okay. Uh, East and West is about the same lah. So what will happen is that you will see the party leaders or tanks uh, yell out, okay, East main tank, West main tank, uh, East sub tank, okay, ST, uh, uh, South, okay, so on and so forth, etc, etc. And we will each take one of the sides. Okay, usually the organizer will help to arrange this lah, to ensure that no, there's no doubling up, there's uh, no, at least one tank per side or two ideally. Okay, because if uh, main tank dies, uh, sub tank pops in and takes over. Okay, although these practice runs normally we feel uh, very experienced tanks uh, because if the tank mm. dies, right, the whole thing starts to collapse on itself if a uh, sub tank doesn't jump in quickly enough. Okay, but you'll soon see, lah, okay, you'll soon see, you, you'll feel all the butt clench, nerve wracking moments in BA later on. Especially the meteors. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. Um, okay, next, next, okay, next mechanic. Okay, I'll quickly try to explain so we can get started. Now. Um, later, once we okay, once we jump down, okay, once we arrange everything, okay, we have our shell protect, okay, we all ready, we will jump down to the platform. Now, once you jump down to the platform, two things to note, very, very important. Okay, very, very important. Uh, do not target Osma. If you hit Osma, target Osma, right click Osma and your range DPS and you, you auto attack him, it starts the fight immediately. And Osma opens uh, with auto attacks on three players, which are tank busters. If the tanks are not ready, right, instantly three people die. Immediately three people die. And then first wave of auto attacks, three people die. Second wave of auto attacks, maybe another two people die. One of the tanks quickly realize and pull enmity. Two more people die. And then people will keep dropping until the tanks stabilize it. Uh. So don't early pull. Please do not early pull. It gets really messy if early pulls happen. Second thing, when we jump down to Osma platform, do not fall off the platform. The platform itself, uh, you can walk off it. Uh. You can walk off it. So do not fall off the platform. You no, know, like uh, as people say, RP walk. Uh. Okay, role play walking. Just walk carefully. Don't auto run because sometimes auto run, uh, auto run, then suddenly the controller battery 
flat then you auto run off the floor I've, I've seen everything guys I've I've done it so many times I've seen all sorts of weird things happening okay people are back flipping uh, displacement okay you have your red mage or uh, dragoon remove elusive jump remove displacement from your hotbar people tell me they muscle memory press displacement jump off the platform yeah. even corpse to corpse do you take that off too because sometimes Ozma isn't actually on anything so yeah, yeah. The call, you'll just call fall the right call, through the, the closer you cannot get closer when there's a hole in front of you, like you are at the edge, you might clip the edge, and then you might fall through the fall down the floor, lah. You fall won't off hit the anything. Floor. Yeah, <laughs> be careful, be careful with the gap closers and backflip. Just, just play safe, like We don't need the extra DPS for this fight. Okay, generally speaking, if all the mechanics are handled properly, right, the fight tends to go really smoothly, and we just clear naturally. No need to push DPS so much that you risk your life for it. Okay, just stay slow and steady listen to calls, do the mechanics, and we naturally will clear. If all mechanics are handled properly, we naturally will clear. Okay, now, having said this, there are two mechanics that everybody needs to do deal with, and they must know how to deal with, because these are personal mechanics. If you get the mechanics and you don't do the mechanics, people will die. Okay, you will kill yourself and everybody else around you also. So these, okay, now these two mechanics are, number one, Meteors. Meteors appear during the triangle and star formation of Osma. Meteors will place two meteor markers on two random players on every platform. So south will get two, east will get two, west will get two. If you have the meteor, you stop doing whatever else you are doing and focus on doing meteors first. Even if you stop casting your uh, whatever spell, lah, just stop it and do the meteors. Meteors take priority. Now, for meteors, you need to place one meteor at the rear of the platform and one meteor in the clockwise position on the ring shaped platform. There's a circle or button on the ring shaped platform. Okay, always go clockwise. Always go to the left. Okay, now, uh, AFK warning if you have been AFK for too long, don't AFK for more than 10 minutes. Just move around a little bit, jump, you know, just move a bit. Lah. Okay, sometimes you get auto kicked uh, after 10 minutes. So be careful about it. Okay, now, for meteors, you need to place one meteor at the rear, one meteor in the clockwise position. But the problem is they cannot be stacked. If one person is placing it to the rear and one person, uh, the other person must place it to the left. They must place it to the clockwise position. If one person is going to the clockwise position and you have the other meteor and you are further away from the clockwise position, you go to the rear. You must adjust. There's no way to determine who gets the meteor can be two tanks, two healers, two DPS, any two players. Even the main tank can get Meteor. Now, generally speaking, as rule of thumb, if main tank gets the Meteor, main tank takes the button, uh, takes the way mark at the rear of the platform. Generally speaking. Okay, so if you see the main tank running to the rear, understand that you are automatically the clockwise position. However, in a pinch, uh, if an experienced main tank has the Meteor, they can also go to the clockwise position, place the Meteor there and come back. Okay, but they need to commit to it. Uh. Okay, the last time this happened, I wasn't uh, thinking about it and I, I dropped it at the back. Okay, so um, just understand you need to separate the meteors and they must be placed at specific points. Now, these points later when we jump down to the platform, party members help to place the waymarks for them. Okay, usually the veterans will place a waymark for the meteor markers. We will help to place them. They are party specific. They are for your party. Use those waymarks. Okay, this is for meteors. Okay, meteors, please try to handle properly. They tend to wipe like 90, 95% or 99% of all the BA wipes. Lah. Okay, me most of the wipes cost in BA is because of meteors. Never put meteor properly, wipes one side, one side dies, that side collapses, other side dies. Again, okay, it sort of snowballs from there. Now, second mechanic is acceleration bombs. Acceleration bombs occur during the triangle form of um, Osma, and random players will be marked with this debuff that starts from 20, okay, anywhere from 16 to 20 seconds. It's a random number, and it will slowly count down to zero. When it hits five seconds or less, a dice icon will appear above your head, Counting down from 3, 2, 1, and then at 0, you need to be not moving. Okay, actually at 1, okay, at one, you need to be not moving, not attacking, stop auto-attacking as well. Okay, shift your weapon or deselect the boss if you are ranged DPS. You just need to not do anything. Okay, and then um, the Excel bomb will just drop off by itself. You'll just fizzle away. If you move or attack or auto-attack, and XL bomb hits zero. Okay, actually by one, uh, it will snapshot. Uh. So it will trigger, it will detonate, hit you and anyone around you for 90% of HP. It is percentage based, cannot be mitigated. So please try to handle XL bombs properly. 
Okay, if Excel Bomb goes off, healers just panic, uh, cure three AOE heals, spend those massive, massive heals to top everyone up before the next mechanic incoming. Usually a Meteor comes down straight after that. Uh, and if you don't heal up fast enough, those players who get hit by Excel Bomb all dies to the Meteor. Okay, so these are the two mechanics you need to pay attention to. Okay, now the last few things to mention before we get ready to go. There's two knockback mechanics in this fight. One is a radial shooting star mechanic that pushes you to away from the center button on the platform. You just need to position yourself to get knocked towards the front or towards the rear. Try not to stand on the button because then you get pushed in a random direction you do not know and very likely you'll fall off the platform. You get pushed to the front or the rear, everybody will be standing at the same spot. Okay, except those who use anti-knockback skills. Anti-knockback skills like Armstrong and Surecast also works. Okay, you see some people ignoring the knockback. Huh? Uh, you, and then they don't get knockback because they're using anti-knockback skills. Okay, the other knockback mechanic is called Holy. Holy is a small little pushback coming out from the center of the Osma. Okay, from the center of the platform, from Osma itself, pushing you out far uh, further away to the outer edges of the platform. To avoid this entirely, we never ever hug the edge of the platform. Never go all the way to the edge of the rear of the platform. Whether you're on the main platform, or whether you're on the ring-shaped platform, always stay closer to the front. Always stay closer to Osma to avoid totally entirely. It's a small little pushback coming out from the center, pushing you back. Just stay closer to the front. Okay, now, final thing. During the black hole, okay, uh, Osma will change from sphere form to spike ball form, then to sphere form, and then to one of three random forms. He does this six times. At the sixth one, he enrages. Now, every time he changes back to a sphere form, he does black hole. For black hole, everybody must be on a button. Okay, you must be on a button, any button. For organizational purposes, we normally say range and caster DPS uh, go to the clockwise position button. Okay, the button on the ring shaped platform to the left. Always to the left. No one should be going to the right. Here on Elemental, we use clockwise rotation. Only the main tanks will go off counterclockwise to pop ops everybody else goes to the left. Okay, so if you have, uh, once black hole is incoming, everybody must be on a button. Any button. If one of the buttons don't have anyone on it, we all wipe. If you are not on a button, you will wipe. Okay, so just be mindful to be on a button. I will call this out. Okay, don't worry, just listen to call outs. Okay, now, at this point of time, uh, is admin settled? I think it should be long ago settled. Huh? Thank you, Hafun. Okay, can. So we will now carefully okay, um, do one last ready check first. Do one last ready check to make sure everyone is here first. If not, we all jump down and we, some people are stuck up here, right? And then we wait for them to come down. Very prone for accidents. <laughs> Very prone for accidents. So I'd rather we wait here than we wait down there. <laughs> so all parties are ready. Yeah? Okay, any party not ready, yeah? please sound off. Any party not ready, just yell out or say out, uh, waiting on one. Okay, but if all parties are assumed ready, we will now carefully step on the button at the front, propel ourselves down, do not target Osma, do not fall off, follow your parties carefully to the correct platforms and get ready. Okay, we will prepare on the platform itself. Okay, does your party still need bravery? Okay, now all parties, once you're on the platforms, place the Meteor Waymarks. Okay, place your Meteor Waymarks. Osma is a thunder expected boss, so rotate your Magia accordingly. Okay, Osma is thunder expected. For this fight, no Magia rotation is needed at all. We will only be in thunder or earth for DPS. Okay. Now, once you're down here, do your usual checks. Food check. The fight is 10 minutes and 30 seconds long. Ensure you have food to cover that duration. Make sure you have Spirit of the Remembered on. If you die and rest yourself, remember to pop a new Spirit. Now, do note, if you fall off the platform and rest, okay, you will get resurrected sometimes because of Spirit. Huh? You will spawn at the South platform. If you are not originally on South, try to find an opportunity to go back to the East or the West platform to rejoin your party. Okay, if you stay at South, you won't get any heals. Um, mega check, food check, gear check. Okay, make sure you have the correct equipment on. Repair them. 
tanks, main tanks, tank stuns check. Make sure your tank stuns is on. All other tanks turn the tank stuns off. Okay, and we will do a generic ready check. Okay, one last ready check. We will yell out. Okay, so east empty, uh, west empty ready. East empty, which is me, ready. Okay, ju just use here, lah, guys. Don't, don't. Okay, south ST, south SST, east ST. Okay, south is. Okay. South is ready. I'm west. Waiting on west. west ST. Yeah, west ST. Okay, east is ready. So, waiting on west SD. <gasps> Thank you. Weapon. Bravery. <laughs> yeah, no, just, just ask, uh, anyone need bravery? He just spam me on everyone. Thank you. Uh -huh. okay. West SD. Ready. <laughs> so all parties are now ready. We will set a start time to be ET. 1300. Zero, zero, okay, start time ET 1300. Zero, zero. Okay, as usual. Level 2 limit break at 1, 2, 5, 8. Level 1 limit break at 1, 2, 5, 9. For Osma, technically speaking, you can melee limit break if you want to. You can walk up to his face and just press the limit break. He does not aggro on face tools. But if you are, <laughs> just let the range do it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, as long as we fire it, it's fine. Yeah, okay. because um, the danger is you right click and then you end yeah, up attacking. You, you just monk, <laughs> punch, you just monk <laughs> punch in the face. It's like, yeah, take this fish sandwich and you just smack it. And then you just, <laughs> just like, you with the auto attack. It's like, oh, you pew, and you just die. Okay, so just, just be careful. Lah. Okay, now, um, deep breaths, calm yourselves, focus on the fight, listen to callouts. Okay, I'll be doing callouts for this entire fight. Just listen to callouts. Okay, deep breaths. Calm yourselves. Okay, I know this last fight tends to be very nerve wracking. Okay, and ready up. We are going to start soon. Yeah, I know the first time I did, my hand was shaking so badly. Okay, now level two limit break. You can now fire it off. Okay, LB two fire off. LB one fire off, and we will begin. The main tank start pulling and throw. The first mechanic is a heavy hitting tank buster auto attack on the main tank. Keep the main tank alive. To keep them topped up. There will be a small okay, there will be a knockback soon after. So we will get knocked to the front before shooting stuff. Okay, no, sorry, first one, move all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Okay, I forgot about shooting stuff first. Uh this uh, point blank. Okay, and staying stacked, move forwards together as a group. This star form does a shed damage auto attack that must be shared with other people. Okay, split damage auto attack that must be shared. Stay stacked. If you get closer and he targets you, you die. Okay, this is the knockback get knocked to the front. Okay, stay in front of the button, get pushed to the front. Okay, don't stay on the button. Huh? You will be sent in a random direction. Okay, and continue to just stay topped up. Okay, black hole number one soon. Everyone go to your buttons. Okay, a button. Any button will do. Make sure you're on a button. Okay, and once the animation goes off, you can step off the button. Once the animation, the whirly whirly effect goes off, you can step off the button. Come back and join the party. Now we are back to heavy thing auto attacks on the main tank. Keep the main tank alive. Shapes have appeared at the rear. This is triangle. Everyone off the platform. Get off the platform. Main tank get off last. Then move back in. Main tank go in first. Shits have appeared. Keep, go to the rear, go to the rear, everyone to the rear. Me and Osma triangle, get off the platform after. Okay, get off the platform now, get off the platform now, everyone off. Now this is triangle, we will see XL bombs and meteors get ready. Triangle is the toughest part of the fight. Pain, flare, please beat pain at the rear. Okay, meteors go, meteors go, handle meteors properly. But glance right there. 
Okay, I come back, stack with the party, get heals, burn the eggs. Okay, burn the eggs. Continue to bait pain. Okay, and burn eggs. Shits have appeared. Triangle, get off the platform, get off the platform. And then bomb. XL bomb, stop, stop moving, XL bomb, stop moving. Okay, heal up, heal up, never mind, heal up, just heal up. Okay, stack for the stack marker. Okay, and just stay calm. Doing good. Black hole number two, everyone to a button, to a button. Everyone to a button. Keep the main tank alive, they'll be taking heavy hitting tank buster auto attacks. Shades have appeared. Triangle, get off the platform, get off the platform. Main tank, get off last. Main Osma, skip. Go to the front after. Go to the front, go to the front now. And stay stacked. Okay, stay stacked nice. to the front. Tank, uh, avoid hitting the tank with the AoE. Uh. Tanks pop ops. Okay, avoid hitting the tank with that stack marker. There's a small little knockback incoming. Stay closer to the front. Stay closer to the front. Very nice. Okay, tanks beat the line AoE away from the party. Square or cube form is the best form to DPS. Just focus on DPS. This is the best time to DPS. Just unload. The jump off. The ships have appeared. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, staying stack, get off the platform. Staying stack, get off the platform. Closer to the front. Closer to the front. There's a small knockback. And go back in. Okay, black hole number three, if I'm not mistaken. Go to your buttons, go to your buttons. You keep tank top up again. Yeah, and you can step off the, the button once the animation goes off. Okay, ships have appeared. Triangle, get off the platform, get off the platform. Main tanks get off last. Me and Osma, Spike Ball, go to the rear after. Go to the rear now, go to the rear now. And staying stacked, move forwards together as a group. Staying stacked, move forwards together as a group. Now this is Spike Ball, there will be Meteors. Handle Meteors. I'm going to the rear. Okay, never mind. Uh, tank limit break on this side. Now, not back, not towards the front, not towards the front. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Stay focus. Burn the ads. Good night, healers. Understand. I'll heal shark. I'll heal shark. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Stay okay. Stay stay stay. Stay. You just have to burn the ads, huh? You know, there's a knockback. Knock to the rear. Knock to the rear. Must be to the rear. Wait for the. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the donut. Okay, and then move forwards again. Staying stacked. Oh my god, it takes. You're dying, son, you're dying. Yeah, yeah. I heal. Okay, then, just focus now. Oh, I'm afraid it might not make it before black hole. Okay, black hole number four, move to your buttons, move to your buttons. Sorry for those who are dead, cannot. Did okay, Ducky come in? Ducky come in? Nice. Ooh. Ouch. Uh, and that's separate. Go 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 burn burn and burn. Then, uh, just commit lah. Just commit. Okay, shits have a bit. Don't uh, don't die now. But we should be able to. Play. Got it. Got nice. it. Nice. Got it, got it. There you go. <laughs> Congrats, uh, everyone. A little bit Thank messy, you, but Deke. you're good. Very nice. Good shit. That, yeah. that last combat so rest good. on Dark. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Thank you so much. That, that was so nerve wracking. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. Ooh, well, that was nice. Thank you. Yeah, we lost a couple of the East platforms. I think four of us didn't make it, but uh, yeah. Oh, uh, 